Hello everyone. God bless you. Remember, it's 2020. 2020 vision. 2020 focus. 2020 obtaining. There are many souls that need to be saved at this time. You know, we have our goals and our plans and our purposes, but God is in the middle of it all. And uh, he will bring those things to pass. You know, years ago, I remember watching, hey, God bless you. Um, I remember watching, seeing uh, Soul Saved and millions of Soul Saved and watching Reinhard Bunke. You know, it made me cry and make me weep when I thought about what God was doing through him and uh, his team, his amazing team. And, um, you know, it's not over yet. Let's go in souls. Let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus and winning souls. Let's keep it together, guys. It's so important. So important, man. Just out doing some errands, getting some stuff done, thinking about souls, thinking about seeing clearly the mandate Jesus has given us. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. We're to be winning souls. So we can do all this great stuff. But it's about winning souls in the end. It's in the end. He said, what have you done with the gospel I gave you? What have you done with the things I've told you? What have you done to help people? What have you done in this earth? It won't, you, you can't say, oh, oh, this person didn't let me do it or that person didn't let me do it. None of that's going to matter. What's going to matter is what you did. What you did. Amen. To help. And we're not saved by works, but we do have work to do. We're not saved by works. Absolutely. We're saved by grace, by faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we have to do what we're called to do and go where we're called to go. Or not to, you know, stay on focus, stay on target and do what we need to do. Hallelujah. I'm about winning souls right now. That's what's on my heart. It's been on my heart for a while. You know, and sometimes you have to do it but one by one. You know, in different nations, you can do it in different ways. Some nations, you have to do it one at a time, family to family, group upon group. But other times, it takes it takes us, um, we can use a net. Whatever way God has got for you to win souls, let's do it. Listen, the connection's going in and out, so I just want to do a short pop-up. Keep focused. Keep obtaining those goals. Remember, there's a crown for all of us as we win souls and love people. God bless you guys. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, uh, Matara and Ralph. Hey, Julie, God bless you. I'm just going off now, just talking about this is a time in the season to win souls. Win souls. That's what it's all about. Amen. It's not about um, uh, anything else, really. Healing the sick, casting out devils, teaching the truth, preaching the gospel, doing the work. Everything else flows around that. God wants family to know him more and more. So go and win win them. Win them to the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Tammy. Amen. We're going to win souls this year. I don't know about you, but why don't you set a target goal? Maybe you're a worldwide evangelist and your 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 uh your goal is 1 million souls today. Maybe you're you're you've been believing for your neighbor next door. Each goal is important. Their goal doesn't have to be your goal. Just set a goal. How many souls are you going to win in February? How many? How many people are you going to share the gospel with? How many people are you praying for? How many people are you reaching out to? What are you effectively doing with the gospel? We can play church all day long. But if we're not going there and uh, winning souls, you know, it's good to come together. Absolutely. It's good to have fellowship. Absolutely. But we also need to be winning the lost. We need to actually be going out there and winning the lost. Wow. That's awesome to be able to win the lost, to be those ambassadors for Christ, right? Wow. This phone's getting heavy. Let me switch it up here. Okay. When I do that, it goes funny. Let me go this way and it works. Strange. 
If I hold the phone this way, I've got good, better reception. Go the other way, it goes all squirrely. Anyways, I'm not going to be long. This is a quick pop-up. Go win the lost. Love people intentionally. Be intentional about set, uh, setting goals um, and winning the lost. You know, when Smith Wigglesworth was old, do you know what he did? He would sit on a bench and need to preach to one person a day um, just sharing the gospel. You do the same. Amen? If that's you. God bless. We'll talk soon.